everyone, I hope you are well. Welcome to my channel. So this is where I talk about Twin Flame process and use my psychic abilities. I'm clairsentient, clairaudient, claircognizant and clairvoyant. Um, and these are monthly readings for by sun sign, tarot readings. And um, you can apply them in any way that you want. So you can apply them to your sun sign uh, or your... Um, Wherever you've got the sign in your chart, whichever house it's related to, it could also be applicable. For example, I've done one reading already for cancer, which is about uh, finances, it seems to be, talking about money. So maybe that you want to look and see if you've got cancer, where you've got cancer in your chart, which house that's in, uh, and how it's aspected. So, um, yeah, just to let you know that. And then to also say, if anybody wants to get a personal reading, which obviously will be a lot more in depth and personally apply. Uh, you can get all the details at my website, which is um, given in the description box below. All right, so that's it. Lots of love. See you in the readings. Bye. July 2023. Okay, so what I'm getting for Aries is I'm getting the energy of outdoors something to do with fire like a bonfire or a barbecue or a, a fire pit something like that I'm getting a forest I'm getting the forest closing in so the space that you're in where you're having this fire it looks like a fire pit actually it's getting smaller and smaller and smaller um, diminished they're saying so your fire is being diminished somehow feels like a lot of voices crowding in, a lot of negative energy crowding in. It feels like um, um, responsibilities crowding in. It feels like a lot of burdens crowding in. It feels like you're being put under pressure to, they are saying, accomplish more, achieve more, be more, and um, be also taking you, not being yourself, they're saying. So somehow you're being asked to not <coughs> be yourself anymore. And it feels like you're just being really put upon, actually, at the moment. Um, I've got a lot of voices, and they seem to be voices that are um, shouldn't have any say, actually, in what you do. They feel like people that are completely overlooking you. It's almost like they could be shouting at a crowd of people, um, but you feel they're shouting at you. <coughs> you know, it's like they're not even direct. Well, it's not, how dare I say this? Because it is about you, but they're not even giving you the, uh, the, gr the grace to like direct it at you. It's kind of like just shouting, like you could be anybody, you know? Feels like not giving you the respect that you deserve basically, uh, or looking you in the eye, or, you know, acknowledging who you are, something like that for you. So it feels this month you've got some kind of, they're saying, redressing the balance. They're saying, um, they just said like ledger. I, I don't know what it is. When you do like accountants, accountancy and you're balancing the books, something like that. They're talking about like uh, ledger and balancing it out. So it's like redressing the balance. So it's a bit of pushback going on this month um, for Aries, basically. Um, they're saying not your natural state, so that you are um, under pressure, basically. They're taking away your birthright, they're saying. Somebody's taking away your birthright. I've got what looks like a Dementor. <laughs> And it's kind of like overshadowing your, you know, your life. And it's got, um, you know what it is, actually. The, um, that video, that Pink Floyd video, The Wall, where they've got those, like, beings. I can't even remember it. It's so long since I've seen it. But it's exactly what it looks like. Are those beings in the wall, like those voices that shout at people that haven't even got really got a voice. It's just a sound. 
uh, like those people ha holding something over you, like trying to crowd you out. You're being crowded out. Let's see what the cards say. Oh, King of Wands coming out. So that's Aries. This is your power, right? And your birthright, basically, to be who you are. Really strong energetically. Powerful, a powerful energy. Knight of Pentacles, which is healing in the physical, moving forward in the physical. Feels like maybe you've been knocked down by something, you know, you've been taken out of your power somehow and you've got to get back up and you've got to start again. And then we've got three of wands, which is something on the horizon. So something new about to begin, something that you're about to create. So for some of you, it could be coming out of one endeavor and getting ready to move into another. Maybe you're leaving a job. You're going to go to another job. Maybe you're about to leave a job. Maybe you just left a job. Maybe you're deciding it's time to leave a job. Something like that. It feels like you've got to find yourself again. You've got to move forward, however slowly that is, and find something new here. And something new that fits you better. I get this energy of someone that's very young, like a young kind of Aries, that doesn't yet know their power, basically, and their mission in life and doesn't really fully understand the power of their um, energy and uh, has allowed themselves to kind of be shoveled into some kind of deme demeaning kind of position in life. That's what it feels like. Magician, manifestation, something about to occur And then we've got an ending, Ten of Swords, an ending in the mind. So this energy that I'm getting, right, this Aryan energy, is like the energy of a young man who has been um, found himself in like a job that is not worthy of him. Um, I mean, you know, it just feels like somewhere where he's being shouted at and being put down and being looked upon as merely a tool rather than a person. That's, I, that's what I've got to say. This is what it feels like. And it feels like this is about to end in the Ten of Swords. I feel this energy of this person just sliding out of this position rather than be any, being any kind of confrontation. I don't feel any confrontation at all. I just feel there's a kind of... Because uh, we've got this slow energy here in the Knight of Pentacles. This is a slow exit and a slow recovery, uh, it feels like, I mean, I guess it could be anybody, right, but just, just the way they're showing me it, it's like this energy of a young man, but it could be anybody that's in the wrong place in life, the wrong position for them, the wrong job, where they're unappreciated, where they don't feel like it's right for them, and suddenly realising, this is, I'm going to leave this, and I'm leaving it now. Um, and the reason I think they're showing me a young man is because the energy of the leaving is quite youthful. Because I think when people get older, they have a fear about leaving things. So they could be in a job for a long time and they're like, oh, I don't know what I'd do if I left this. And it becomes they become more entrenched in that thing that's wrong for them. So the reason they're showing me it as a young man is because it's quite a young, powerful energy that's um, coming up in relation to this situation, which is going to push this person out of this situation. So it's quite a strong masculine energy coming up, going to push this person out of this situation, which is actually an Aryan energy. So that's there. And an ending here in the mind. It is a walking away from, I feel. It's not a confrontation. There's no, like, um, reprimands or recriminations. It's just... Um, it's this, you know when they're showing me like the the Pink Floyd thing with those things that just have a voice but they don't say anything. It's the same thing in this situation. So it's like this person leaving, this area and leaving this situation won't even be noticed leaving. Because whatever the pressure is on this person, it's coming from above. And it's demeaning in a sense that it could be for anyone. It's not just this per it's not personalised. It's just like, oh, you're just a part of a, you're just a cog in a wheel, or a wheel in a cog. 
you're just a bit part in a machine. So we don't care about you and you're just going to do your job and you're going to get on with it. And we don't listen to you and we don't talk to you. And we won't even notice when you've gone. It feels like that kind of a situation ending. And then sliding out of it. Separation, five of pentacles, poverty consciousness. So moving away from something that's not good for them. And then we've got four of pentacles, which is now. We've got leaving and arriving in the three of wands. And we've got right now and something ending in the ten of swords. Something negative ending right now. In the physical queen of wands so this is vibrationally um, the time for it this is feminine vibration creating slow movement and an ending there and then we've got two of cups which is twin flame process so this is the masculine twin flame leaving a situation basically that is not good for them and coming in a roundabout way to the conclusion of they deserve better, basically. I've got a really circular energy going on here, but it's like a clean sweep. Uh, so it's like literally a roll of the dice, and it's like you're out of there, you're out of this situation, it wasn't meant to be, it wasn't for you, it's not who you are. <laughs> uh, it's really depersonalized, it's got nothing to do with anyone as a person. It's got everything to do with twin flame process and about having to go through something that is physically a debilitating scenario that doesn't feel right, uh, doesn't sit right, that is uh, feels like really painful and really uh, detrimental to well-being for the masculine and that is its ending. And it's ending right now. Right now. Fear. So we've got Seven of Swords, which is fear, underneath the Ten of Swords, the ending of fear. So it's a situation that has arose due to Twin Flame process, which is about the elimination of fear. So someone, an Aries, been sat in a situation that is about being sat in fear, in a dark energy and having to be and exist in that dark energy. And again, those voices around this person are um, not directed. At, it's like almost over the head of this person. It's like, I feel this Aryan person saying, do you not see me and who I am? Can't you see me? Can't you, don't you understand who I am? Why are you saying something to me that is so unrelated to who I am? It's a really bizarre situation, I have to say. Because, no, they don't, whoever is saying all this stuff to this person doesn't see this person at all. It's like over their head, it's like, bah, 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 bah. <laughs> uh, but it's all negative, and it's all like, just keep you down and keep you locked down and keep you in this place and work harder and do it hard. It's literally like human slavery. And it's about a situation that's going to end in terms of human slavery in regard to the masculine that Aryan energy is so completely masculine anyway um, and it's survival it's rising up it's healing in because of the feminine energy here creating the vibration of it healing so that's it fairies and then it's going to move on from that. It just feels like the beginning of this month, it's like there is some kind of brick sitting on your life. <laughs> so like you are, um, like someone's, you know, <laughs> you know the yoga out of Harry Potter. It's come along and it's got a brick in its hand and it's just put it down on you. And it's crouching down and it's looking and you are underneath the brick and you can't get out. And it's sitting there and it's looking and it's sitting there and then any minute it's just going to lift the brick off and you're going to go, thank you, <laughs> and move on and scurry away as soon as that brick is lifted. So that's what's happening this month. Let's just get one more out on Eight of Swords, which is a mental um, connection, right, between twin flames. So this is like the uh, survival in fear, basically. It's like the fear paradox. 
that exists between twin flames, the mental aspect. And love, Knight of Cups, love and romance, which is the hero that sets it free. Right, love conquers all. One more. And the heart of the masculine. So this, this survival tactic, what is the survival tactic? What gets the masculine out from under the brick that's holding them down? It's self-love, right? It's the strength of Samson. It's like lifting the bricks. No, nope, better than this. Lifting this off, getting rid of this. Love conquers all. So that's kind of the energy for Aries this month. I'll leave it at that. Lots of love. Take care. Bye.